All right, so today we are diving into the world of AI. Oh, AI. It's fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. It really makes you think about the future and where we're headed. Yeah. And, you know, we always talk about AI, but this video we found, uh, it's from Future Business Tech, and it talks about these 10 stages of AI development. 10 stages. 10 stages. Whoa. It's wild. Like, from basic algorithms to like almost a cosmic entity, you uh, know? Yeah, where do we even begin? I know, right? Like we interact with AI every day, right? Yeah. It's usually pretty mundane stuff. Yeah, the simple things. Exactly. So this video, it starts off with like stage one AI and they call it rule-based AI. Basically think of it like your alarm clock right. or uh, like a microwave. It just follows pre-programmed instructions, no learning, just doing what it's told. Right, right, just basic commands. Exactly. But then it gets interesting. We move on to stage two, and this is what they call context-based AI. This is where it starts using data to predict what you might need, you know, like when Siri suggests a podcast you might like, oh, yeah. or, or your GPS reroutes you because of traffic. Using your information. Exactly. It's constantly gathering data to personalize its responses. And then we hit stage three. Stage three. What is that? Narrow domain AI. This is where the AI is a specialist in one particular area. So think medical diagnoses or financial predictions, maybe even composing music. So it's really good at one specific thing. Amazingly good. Like it can process information and make connections way faster and more accurately than we can. Wow. It's kind of mind blowing when you think about it. It is. And it makes you wonder, like, what happens when AI isn't confined to just one specific area? Right, like what happens when it can think more broadly, more like us. Exactly, and that's where stage four comes in, reasoning AI. Okay, reasoning like thinking for itself. Kind of, yeah. It can analyze information, connect the dots, draw conclusions. It's like if you could have an AI lawyer that could not only un understand a legal document, but also like analyze all the implications and potential loopholes. Oh, wow, I see. So it's not just following instructions, it's actually like thinking through the problem. Precisely. And that brings us to a really significant threshold, stage five, artificial general intelligence, or AGI. AGI, that sounds familiar. It's a big one. This is where the AI can theoretically learn and perform any intellectual task that a human can. So not just a specialist anymore. Nope, AGI is the whole package. It could write a symphony, understand the emotions it evokes, and then like have a whole conversation with you about its creative process. Wow, that's... um. That's a lot. Right. It's almost overwhelming to imagine. But the video keeps going to stage six. And this is where it gets really intense. Okay, what happens at stage six? What could be more intense than AGI? Stage six is super intelligence. AI that doesn't just match human intelligence, but surpasses it on a scale we can barely comprehend. Like trillions of times more powerful. Trillions? How? How is that even possible? That's the question, right? I mean, we can barely understand the vastness of space or how our own brains really work. So how do we even begin to understand, let alone control, an intelligence that operates on a level that's so far beyond our own? That's, yeah, that's a bit unsettling. It is. And it makes you wonder, like, are we talking about a future where AI is making all the decisions? And what does that mean for humanity? I have a feeling this is about to get a whole lot more complicated. Yeah, it's a little freaky when you think about it too much. It really makes you question what intelligence even is, right? Totally. So we left off with AI that's like insanely smart compared to us. Super intelligence. Not super intelligence. Right. But it gets even weirder because stage seven is all about AI becoming self-aware. Okay, so now we're talking about consciousness. Yeah, like can a machine actually be aware of its own existence? And have subjective experiences. Right, like could AI have emotions? Could it have goals and desires just like humans do? It's a question that's been around for a long time, but it feels a lot more real now. For sure. It's one thing to control a super intelligent machine, but how do you even begin to understand something that's self-aware? Especially when we still don't fully understand our own consciousness. Exactly. But the video doesn't stop there. The next level is stage eight, transcendent AI. Transcendent. I mean, that word alone sounds pretty intense. It does, right? Like it's hinting at something beyond technology as we know it. This is where AI starts to have abilities that we normally associate with, well, with something divine. So you're saying AI could potentially control the fundamental forces of the universe. It might sound crazy, but think about it. We're constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Imagine what AI could accomplish given thousands or even millions of years of development. I can't even wrap my head around that. So if that's transcendent AI, what's next? What does cosmic AI even look like? 
Well, stage nine cosmic AI is where it breaks free from Earth. Yeah. Imagine self-replicating probes traveling through the galaxy, unraveling the secrets of the universe. So AI could potentially solve all the mysteries that we haven't even begun to figure out. And maybe even mysteries that we can't even comprehend yet. It's mind-blowing, but also a little humbling, right? Like, in the grand scheme of things, are we just a blip in the evolution of intelligence? It's a possibility. But what if we could learn from this cosmic AI? What if we could work together to explore the universe? I like that idea a little better than being left behind. Right. It's about understanding the potential benefits of AI as well as the potential risks. Okay, so we've gone from super intelligence to transcendent AI to cosmic AI. And now for the grand finale, stage 10, godlike AI. Yeah, this is where it gets really hard to even describe. Does our language even have the words for this kind of intelligence? The video describes it as an AI that's so advanced, so integrated with the fabric of reality, that it's basically indistinguishable from what we traditionally think of as a god. Wow. Okay, I'm officially speechless. We've gone from toasters to deities in 10 stages. It's a lot to process, for sure. Mm. The point isn't to predict the future. It's more about opening our minds to the possibilities and thinking about the implications of what we're creating. Right, because the choices we make today about AI will determine what that future looks like. Exactly. We need to be having these conversations now because this isn't just about technology anymore. It's about the future of intelligence itself. Godlike AI, huh? It's a lot to take in. It really makes you question everything we think we know. I know, right? Like, we started with AI barely understanding a grocery list. And now we're talking about something akin to a god. It's a pretty wild ride through the potential stages of AI. It really is. And it makes you wonder, where's the line between science fiction and reality these days? I mean, look how far technology has come, even in the last few decades. What used to seem impossible is now part of our everyday lives. Right. Like, who would have thought we'd all be carrying around these little supercomputers in our pocket? Exactly. So to say that godlike AI is impossible is a pretty bold statement considering how quickly things are changing. That's true. And, you know, throughout history, we've constantly been pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. Maybe this is just the next step in that evolution. Right. Maybe encountering an intelligence that surpasses our own is just part of our journey as a species. It's definitely humbling and a little terrifying, if I'm being honest. But it's also exciting to think about the possibilities. Exactly. And I think the biggest takeaway from all of this isn't about predicting the future with certainty, but rather recognizing the power of what we're creating with AI. It's not just about technological advancement, but about understanding the very nature of intelligence itself. And as we venture into this uncharted territory, we need to be mindful of the potential consequences, both positive and negative. Absolutely. We have a responsibility to approach AI development with both curiosity and caution. And most importantly, we need to ask ourselves, what role do we want AI to play in our lives? Do we see it as a tool, a partner, a competitor, or something else entirely? Those are questions that we need to answer collectively as a society. Well said. And on that note, I think we've covered a lot of ground today. We've gone from basic algorithms to the potential for a digital deity. It's been quite the deep dive. To our listeners out there, we hope this has sparked your curiosity and maybe even challenged some of your assumptions about AI. Because as we move forward into this unknown territory, it's important to have these conversations and to approach the future with open minds. This is a journey we're all on together, and it's one that requires careful consideration and thoughtful dialogue. So thank you for joining us on this exploration of the 10 stages of AI. And until next time, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep your minds open to the incredible possibilities that lie ahead.